Hey Aquarius, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a general reading for your current energy, so let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. And this is for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. And we have the Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck, so feel like maybe there is a lot of new information coming in that you are trying to um, maybe process or make a decision on. Maybe you're receiving communication at this time from somebody that you've been waiting to hear from. Um, but it kind of feels like you're getting ready to make some sort of a decision. And whatever news information you're receiving is helping you kind of do that. I feel like this Ace of Wands is speaking to you having a clear mind, right? It's like you're not having that foggy brain anymore. I feel like you're thinking clearly. Something is just getting easier for you to deal with or navigate. So it just looks like you're getting ready to kind of, you know, overcome whatever crossroads this is here with the two of swords but right behind the ace of wands is the six of pentacles and the ace of cups so i kind of feel like there's something about you finally seeing things you know go your way because somebody is finally doing their part it feels like there's you know this recipro reciprocation of love of effort um right behind the ace of cups is the king of cups and then the six of cups so lots of cups energy lots of you know emotion love i just feel like with that six of pentacles you're finally starting to see um things you know kind of level out we have the Two of Swords, the Emperor, which is Aries, the Eight of Wands, and the Queen of Pentacles. So I feel like with this Eight of Wands, again, this is you receiving some information, communication that is making you feel more secure or more comfortable moving forward with maybe a person. I feel like with this Emperor, you could be connecting to an Aries, but maybe this is about you taking the next step in something and needing someone to be serious about it before you are, you know, going to go out of your way. So I kind of feel like with this Queen of Pentacles, this is you saying, you know, I'm willing to do this. I am okay with it, but I need to know that you're serious about it first. I need to know that we are on the same page. Otherwise, I'm not going to do anything. So I feel like whatever is happening right now, it's, you know, giving you that reassurance that something is going to finally move forward. So let's clarify the Eight of Wands. three of wands so yeah i feel like that's confirmation that something is finally going to move forward there's a plan there's a you know plan of action that you will be able to kind of see we have the eight of pentacles behind that three of wands and then the page of cups and then the four of wands then the magician which is gemini and virgo energy then the sun so lots of powerful and positive energies coming through here i just feel like this is about you seeing a wish fulfillment come true this is about you seeing a manifestation come come through um, or come true. I feel like with that Eight of Pentacles, you've been working very hard for something. And it kind of seems like there was one very clear obstacle in the way in the past. Maybe it was someone else's energy. Maybe it was whether or not they were going to, you know, join you on something. Maybe you had to get their support. Whatever it is, I just feel like if there was somebody else involved they're finally showing up with the right kind of energy and it's helping you be able to move along with something that you have put a lot of work into. So it's kind of like you're not you're no longer going to have to think about this and say, you know, I wonder if I'll ever be able to finish this. I I wonder if I'll ever be able to reach this milestone. You know, it's like the universe wants to give you, you know, a big fat yes because it's definitely going to be happening very soon we have the five of wands knight of cups and the fool so i feel like this is about you again getting that reciprocation getting that support that you need being able to take that leap of faith and i feel like with the five of wands this is about you maybe having to see something from a different perspective in order to really believe it you know maybe this is related to you having to deal with somebody who has done something so many times that at some point you just stop you know believing them so i feel like the universe is saying you know maybe this time around you know this is different or maybe this five of wands is just representing the fact that sometimes it's so hard to believe that things are changing until it's right in front of us so it's almost like the universe is challenging you to believe that it's already happening even if you're not right at the you know the finish line or right at the start of this new 
um, chapter, I just feel like the universe is saying you have enough evidence to believe or you have enough evidence. Um, yeah, to believe that this is a this is a a brand new beginning or that this is going to happen. Um, let's see. Let's clarify the emperor. Four of Wands. Again, you are reaching some sort of finish line here, some sort of accomplishment. Um, I feel like this just speaks to the success. This is speaking to the hap happy ending, because for some of you, maybe this is a happy ending to a process that you've been, again, working on for a really long time. Um, an ending that, of course, will then bring on new beginnings. Uh, we have the, well, behind the Four of Wands is Temperance. So I feel like that's speaking to the time that maybe has passed. We have the Chariot, which is Cancer, Page of Cups, and the Three of Wands. So I feel like this is about you kind of seeing something um, from someone else. I feel like someone else is a part of this situation and they're proving to you or they're showing you something different. I feel like that Chariot is speaking to things moving forward a lot faster now. It's like somehow an obstacle has been removed from the path and now all the cars can um, go faster. So it's kind of like there was traffic before, right? And the traffic was created by somebody else. And I feel like after all the beeping and all of the road rage and you know all of the emotions that may have come from that because right behind temperance is nine of swords so i feel like this is that very literal representation of you know the anxieties the worries the frustration the sadness right behind that is the wheel of fortune and the nine of cups and then the ace of pentacles and then the lover so it's kind of like the universe is literally saying all of that that you had to go through Aquarius, it was worth it because now there's finally no obstacles on the road. It has been cleared that this is going to move along smoothly. It's going to happen now. You're going to be able to walk through this path. You're going to get to your destination. Um, so really love that. Let's clarify the Queen of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like for a lot of you, this has to do with you, again, getting that support that you've been waiting for or it's almost like just finally being able to do something the way that you want to and getting um either something is being removed from your way and it's allowing you to move forward or there could be somebody that's just doing their part and maybe lessening the burden maybe someone is finally working with you on something whatever it is i just feel like the universe wants you to know that this is finally going to work right if it didn't work before if it was taking too long before it's going to work now and it's going to move faster we have knight of wands eight of pentacles and the ace of cups so again here's your hard work this is you moving past all of the obstacles being able to finally get this going and this ace of cups this reminder that there's this abundance coming towards you there's this love there's this support there's this positive energy coming towards you where there was once maybe a void where there was once maybe negative energy i just feel like the universe is saying aquarius the the bad times are over all right let's clarify the two of swords ten of cups i feel like that says a lot then we have queen of cups king of wands seven of pentacles i feel like this is proving that things can change right this is to me proving that things can change over time some people can change circumstances can change and you know some things are temporary for a reason and i feel like with that king of wands and that uh, queen of cups maybe there's a beautiful pairing here maybe you and someone are connecting in a way where you're very different right because that fire against that water you know they, they almost don't go together but somehow they can be you know the opposites that eventually attract to form a very powerful connection so whether this is a romantic connection or a business partnership or a friendship or you know something else i just feel like it makes sense now something is working now there's chemistry there's um, alignment there's this mutual sort of you know desire to make something happen there's teamwork here Again, right behind the Ten of Cups is the Magician and the Sun. So I feel like the universe just wants you to feel that your hard work, your perseverance, and your manifestations are paying off. And I feel like with that Sun card, you're going to have a lot of really positive, positive days ahead of you. So 
Really love this for you. Hope you take it all in. And if you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.